I was going to also bring up your your first point about location. You know, it's it's kind of crazy, but we don't see enough thought put into that. I'm sure you, you don't either. Um, people will tell us, well, I want to go back there because I'm from there or my wife's family's there or, and all those things are great. But at the end of the day, it's like what you're saying is, can the area support it? Is it the right area? We're actually having a conversation. I remember it because I was doing a staycation with my family out on the beach and Harrison and I were in this um, text with this gentleman opening. A, he was doing a startup, coming out of residency. I won't say where he was opening, but he was opening in a place that we've seen to be very challenging, extremely competitive. Like, I mean, you'll have five orthodontists in the same yeah. building across the street, extremely saturated. And so, you know, imagine, you know, in a city of 10 million people trying to promote your brand. Right. Well, Everybody else is trying to do the same thing. There's tons of noise. Um, there's also giants, um, you know, corporate uh, in yeah. there as well. And your dollar only goes so far. Whereas, you know, if you come to Pensacola, Florida, well, there's like four or five orthodontists and, mm -hmm. you know, you can like pepper the whole town with a hundred thousand yes. dollars, um, you know, 10, 20 times, 30 times. Right. And so, um, you know, we gave him this information and a question I asked him was, Hey, have you done any research? He said, yes. And I said, could you share with me the research you've done? And he's just said, Hey, it's, uh, it's really competitive. I'm like, well, I think you may want to do, and this isn't like derogatory or to sure. slam this person. Like you said, it's, you don't know what you don't know, but I encouraged yes. him to do some real research and possibly even rethink it because we've just seen practice after practice really struggle in this area. Um, and the ones who do well know I'm going to have to spend a ton. I'm probably going to have to take on more debt and I can sure. make it work, but it's going to be a lot different than opening somewhere like Panama City or, Absolutely. you know, something like that. You know, it's factors that they should consider when they go in. So, uh, I think I'm a little spoiled in my network, the area directly in the North Texas market. We have some amazing team members and vendors that we partner up with to help our startups be extremely successful. But you know, when they're looking for a location, they not only do they need to understand the income level of the area they're going into. So if they're planning on doing ortho and they don't want to be in network with insurance, they need to make sure that can the area you know pay for you know braces in there and does it make mm -hmm. sense? So that's one piece, but competition, you know, how many kids between the ages of eight and 16 fit that demographic that they're looking for with all the other competing ortho and corporate that's in the area. And then taking some further steps is based on that information, what's the growth level of that area? What percentage of growth is that area having every single year on average to know that, hey, if you go in here and another ortho comes in here next year, are you guys now stagnant and no more patients are coming or is it growing? So as people do come in, you're still growing, you're maximizing and it's not gonna affect you that hard. And of course, all the other things, the measures that go in there, but those are just the little things that to start understanding before you make a decision. 